Be quiet, I'm filming a video. Please, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you trying to see? I'm dead. They're patient. You want to blow them kisses? Yeah. bell next to so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday and Sweet Saturday is when we make something delicious and sweet and vegan which is today. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some sweetened condensed milk, a vegan sweetened condensed milk and I know there's so many recipes out there on how to make coconut sweetened condensed milk and I for one don't want to put a coconut sweetened condensed milk into every recipe that I would put condensed milk into because I don't want everything to taste like coconut. So I used to make regular condensed milk back in the day so I just turned it into a vegan version. So let's get it. Alright guys, so we're on the stove because this is going to be a time consuming recipe and I'm not sh exactly sure if I have enough gas on my little stove top thing to make this recipe. So here we are on my stove. So I'm adding two cups of soy milk and this is just regular original soy milk. You can also do a can of coconut milk instead but I don't want coconut flavor in the recipe in which I'm using this sweetened condensed milk. Next I'm adding our second, our second and last ingredient is half of a cup of uh, sugar and I'm using uh, cane sugar and I'm going to go ahead and put this at a medium high heat and once this starts to boil I'm going to go ahead and lower this down to a simmer alright so we're boiling now so I'm going to go ahead and lower this down to a simmer and once this is at a simmer I'm going to go ahead and just not stir it anymore because you don't want it to crystallize and then we're just going to let it Simmer away, but simmering too fast, you think just lower the heat, be on the safe side. Um, and we're just going to let this simmer for about 35 to 45 minutes until it reaches like a nice thicker consistency and the liquid reduces to about half. So it's been simmering for a while and I don't want to like disturb the bottom portion of um, our mix here, but I am going to take off this top sort of like gooey part that forms on top of uh, your milk mixture and then I'm gonna let it continue to simmer. All right guys, so I know it looks gross right now, but it's been simmering for about like 35 minutes now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push anything that is like on the surface over to the corner. Just so it can be easier to like pick up the little film that's building up over the top and then I'm just going to take it out and in a second I'm going to show you how you can tell whether or not this is ready. So there's two ways that I like to check whether or not this is ready. So the one, the first way is by moving everything over in the pot over to the side and seeing like how much is left and then I also like to sort of just dip in my spatula or spoon and just let this sort of like dry out or cool down for just like a minute or two and then once this is cooled off I'll let you know what it looks like. So I let this cool down for about a minute and if I let it cool down more you will notice it more but this is actually like it's become like caramelized and like a thick consistency. I know I'm using my finger but I'm just trying to show you guys here. Alright guys so I went ahead and turned off my heat and again I'm just going to take the film off the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly stir this. And next what do we do? We pour it into a little jar or any little container that you can put in the fridge. And you can actually make this faster, like you don't have to wait 45 minutes in order for this to make if you crank up the heat, but you do however run the risk of burning your condensed milk. 
Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and place this into my refrigerator and I'm going to let this cool down completely and then I'll show you how thick it gets. Alright guys, so it's time for the taste test cam. This stuff is like ooey gooey delicious. But before I actually do the handheld thing, I actually want to show you how... Oh my gosh. What? Look at that. Deliciousness. It's like leaking on the side. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and give this a taste. And I got it on a fork because I didn't want to get like a ton and get a sugar rush. But here we go. Mmm. Oh, it tastes so good. Oh. It is freaking fantastic, you guys. Seriously? Seriously? I can eat this whole jar, but I won't. Because I know it's not good for you to eat that much sugar. But hey, if I could, I would. I'm going to be making chocolate with this. I'm going to be making some Puerto Rican eggnog, some coquito. Those of you guys out there, let me know. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes because I would love to see what you guys made. I love getting your feedback on Instagram and on here and everywhere. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you.